So you don't want to make your own Rococo rig, you just want to use someone else's. Not a problem. Today I am happy to announce the release of my personal modified Rococo rig, which was funded by our incredible patrons in order for you all to have it absolutely free. This is probably the most advanced rig I've ever put together. It is also the one that I will personally be using for all my future animation projects. So what's so special about this rig? Well, usually the most time consuming part of motion capture is the cleanup afterward. And this is an IK rig, so it's a million times faster to clean up than if you were using an FK rig. It's also specifically designed to embrace Rococo animation data. And I've tuned its drivers to automatically sense the floor for both the feet and toes separately. So here you can see that as the toe approaches the floor, it begins to level out. Then as the heel approaches the floor, the foot starts to level out one more time. The foot will never go below the ground. And in the case that you want anything specific, you always have the option of manually making your adjustments to get that perfect look just right. I've also programmed the drivers to only activate when they get close to the ground. So it feeds off the raw mocap data for foot information until it gets close to the ground. And the drivers also work outside the mocap data. So even if you are not moving the leg, you can see here that they still do the job regardless of how crazy your animation. Usually these kind of advanced foot functions are things that you can only get from paid rigs like Auto Rig Pro, but the Patreon squad and I believe that quality animation should be free. So you can use mine or copy it for your own rig, no questions asked. Another unique ability about this rig is it's completely functional even without Rococo. Most of the time you only really use mocap data to record natural slice of lifestyle animations like walking, talking, and looking around. But sometimes it's best to use manual animation. For example, fighting animations usually look like shit in real life. And sometimes you just want an unrealistic animation. So it's important that your rig can take mocap data easily when it needs to, but also not rely on it when it comes time to do things manually. And this rig can do both all by itself. You don't need to turn off and on or switch between three different rigs. Just one clean rig for thorough and easy animation. I have also added some easy dedicated rotation bones for the X, Y, and Z axis. So it's really easy to animate spinning and flipping and spin kicks in any direction for those anime style fight scenes that I know you guys will be doing a lot. There's also a position controller that you can easily drag to adjust if the mocap data is too high or too low off the ground. There are 14 hand pose libraries that you can use to quickly animate your fingers on top of the mocap data. The bones are all color coordinated and are organized into four separate layers. Layer 1 has all the animation control bones, layer 2 has all the adjustment and deform bones, layer 3 has the fingers, and layer 4 has the hair. Blender comes with the rig in case you want an example female body, otherwise you can easily separate the rig from my character and weight paint it to yours instead. And that's it. I really hope this rig helps you learn and understand how to work with motion capture, or it makes your life a little easier in some simple way. In the meanwhile, as always, hope you have a fantastic